Hello friends. Now, eutrotonics are drugs that make the uterus contract. Uh, they act like oxytocin. That's why they're also called as oxytocics. So let us quickly revise the eutrotonics that are used for the prevention of postpartum hemorrhage. Now, the WHO has already updated its recommendations in 2018 for the drugs that can be used for prevention of postpartum hemorrhage during the active management of third stage of labor. Now, what remains same and standard practice is that uh, it should be used irrespective of the mode of delivery, whether by vaginal delivery or cesarean section. And it needs to be given immediately after the birth of the baby, preferably within one minute, should not interfere with a delayed cord clamping. And the drug of choice is oxytocin. Yes, we've been using it all this while. It's a very safe drug and does not come with any absolute contraindications and uh, no uh, common side effects that are there. Now, moving on, let us also talk about what these recommendations say about the use of other drugs, right? So, uh, whenever we have multiple eutrotonic options available, right, oxytocin remains the drug of choice in a dose of 10 units. Preferably, we are giving it by intramuscular route. Uh, diluted IV can also be given, right? Now, in the settings where oxytocin is unavailable, so the other drugs can be used when oxytocin is unavailable or its quality cannot be guaranteed. Now, what are these other injectable eutrotonic? So, we have a carbitocin now which is a long-acting synthetic analog of oxytocin which can also be used. It has the same safety profile as oxytocin and uh, ergometrine, methyl ergometrine which we call as methargin. These are also drugs that can be used, right? We have oxytocin and ergometrine fixed dose combinations which come by the name syntometrine and they can also be used. These are all injectable drugs that I have highlighted for you. However, keep in mind that before giving methargin or the syntometrine, right, we need to rule out the contraindications of methargin. And most important to remember are hypertensive disorders of pregnancy like preeclampsia, eclampsia, known heart disease or peripheral vascular disease in the woman, right? So, methargin causes hypertension as a side effect, right? It causes peripheral vasoconstriction as a side effect. It can also increase the risk of heart failure in a woman who is a known uh, cardiac disease patient. So, keep them in mind and also, yes, another contraindication where you will not use methargin for active management of third stage of labor is when there is a second twin on the way to delivery. So, keep these important points in mind. Now, another drug that is recommended that can be used is mesoprostol. Now, mesoprostol is a PGE1 analog, right? The dose that it can be used in is 400 microgram or 600 microgram per orally. The advantage of mesoprostol as compared to the injectable drugs are that mesoprostol is cheaper. It can be stored in room temperature, right? There are no definite absolute contraindications as such. So, it can be given by even lay healthcare workers, right, for the prevention of postpartum hemorrhage. So, yes, mesoprostol is another drug which we can use. But keep in mind the common side effects that can happen with mesoprostol like uh, nausea, vomiting, shivering, fever or diarrhea. So, moving on, let us just quickly summarize the eutrotonics and their dosages used for the prevention of PPH during the active management of third stage of labor. Oxytocin 10 units IM or IV, preferably we are using IM. This IV is diluted. Please remember, IV bolus is not supposed to be given. Methargin preferably uh, 0.2 milligram preferably given by intramuscular route uh, can be given IV but with IV there is always this danger of sudden severe hypertension so preferably give IM. Now when I have the choice of both oxytocin methargin I know the drug of choice is oxytocin I will always prefer that right now with methargin i also do not prefer it particularly because there is a slightly more increased risk of uh, having a retained placenta when i use it for active management of third stage of labor now carbitocin the dose is 100 microgram either im or uh, 
IV, uh, slow IV injection over one minute. Centometrine is a fixed dose combination of 5 units of oxytocin and 500 micrograms of methyl ergometrine and it needs to be given IM if at all it is used. Mesoprostol 400 to 600 microgram orally. Key point to note, carboprost that is PGF2 alpha analog, dinoprostone that is PGE2 analog, they are not recommended for the prevention of PPH. Okay. Now compare this with the drugs that are used for treatment of PPH. So, for the treatment of PPH, oxytocin, yes, in dosages like 20 to 40 units in IV infusion, they can be used. Methargen, again, in the same dose, 0.2 milligram IV can be used. Carbitocin, on the other hand, is not approved for the treatment of PPH. Carbitocin being an analog of oxytocin, the only place where it is recommended as of now is prevention of PPH, not used in treatment of PPH or induction of labor or augmentation of labor. So, not in other places can it substitute uh, oxytocin, remember that, okay. Now, syntometrine is not recommended for treatment of PPH. Mesoprostol, yes, in a dose of 800 micrograms sublingual is also recommended for treatment of PPH. Carboprost is a very good drug and it is recommended for the treatment of PPH. But dinoprostone PGE2 analogues, they are not recommended for the treatment of PPH, right? So keep these important dosages and these important principles in mind regarding the use of eutrotonics for prevention of PPH, right? For active management of third stage of labor.